House on Skull Mountain is one of the cases where we get the semblance of a black horror movie, but not a real one. The film is peppered with blackness, but the ultimate story that is told isn't in complete solidarity with the concept of black horror. It contains a cast of black characters, has elements of African and African American mysticism, addresses themes of ancestry, and is supported with some good acting. However, this film stands in a line of various films who exemplify the idea of the Hollywood voodoo trope. In this video, we're going to talk about the Hollywood voodoo trope, the effects it has on black culture, and how it's portrayed in The House on Skull Mountain. House on Skull Mountain was a horror film produced by 20th Century Fox in 1974. It starred Victor French, who played in Gone Smoke, Jenny Mitchell, who has also appeared in other black horror films like Scream Black Ava Scream, Mike Evans, who starred in The Jeffersons, John Duran, and other cast members include Zernona Clayton and Ella Woods. The film tells the story of four cousins who are summoned to the Christoph estate from a long lost grandmother. The four cousins are descendants of the famous leader of the Haitian Revolution, Henry Christoph. Once the cousins arrive at the estate, they are told they must face their worst fears in order to receive their inheritance. Each of the cousins begin to die in mysterious ways as each day passes. It is later discovered that the deaths were caused by Thomas Petwa, the caretaker of the Christoph estate. It's revealed that he's been using the power of voodoo to kill off the cousins one by one in order to seize the inheritance for himself. The film ends with Dr. Andrew Cunningham summoning the power of Zerli Freda to banish the Dark Sorcerer. But what is the Hollywood voodoo trope with all of this being said? African traditional religions are often used as more of a backdrop with little or no explanation. Usually there is no tie-in to cultural significance and often are not accurate to real life African traditions. The trope falls in line with the likes of the magical negro trope, the black guy dying first trope, the useless black detective trope, and many others. In particular, this trope pertains to the use of African spiritualism in the realm of mainstream media. The House on Skull Mountain commits the crime that many other horror movies do. They introduce the idea of African spiritualism with little to no explanation of the cultural significance it plays to the actual people. Usually in these instances, black characters are relegated to side characters and become the victims of their own culture. In the mainstream media, African traditional religions usually play the role of the villain and are typically seen as evil and or associated with bad purposes. The House on Skull Mountain exudes all of these. The black cousins are killed off, the main antagonist is a Haitian priest who wants to use his power for nefarious purposes, and at the end of the film, a white man comes out on top. The issue with this is that improper portrayals of African traditional religions and media leads to stereotypes and misinformation of African spiritualism, and horror movies happen to be the biggest perpetrators. Hollywood has a very long history of using African religions as a backdrop and the stereotypical evil force which breeds fear into the white Christian imagination. This is the same with most cultures. There are several movies like La Llorona, The Babadook, and many other cultural urban legends, but the issue is how little creative control black creatives have over these portrayals. Usually these concepts are borrowed by white men with little to no analysis. African religions are actually a force for cultural good and bad for Africans. However, it is portrayed as solely evil and dark when in the past, it has also been synonymous with healing practices. On one end, the House on Skull Mountain stands in a line of films that use this trope to sell tickets like The Serpent and the Rainbow, American Horror Story, and films like The Venom. Whereas some other black horror movies like Scream Blackula Scream, Lord Shango, and Sugar Hill use African traditions as the cure. House on Skull Mountain is not deemed a black exploitation movie, but it's considered a regular horror film, whereas films that portray African traditions in a more positive light were seen as exploited. Overall, The House on Skull Mountain is an example of several films that use the Hollywood voodoo trope with little to no actual exploration of African culture and will only continue to perpetuate misinformation. 
It's for this reason that we need more black creatives, even in the realm of horror, to have creative power over films that heavily involve African spiritualism. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, leave us a comment, and if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up. If you want to continue diving into the world of black horror with us, hit the subscribe button and get notified whenever we post a video. Thank you, and see you in the next one.